And now we're gonna do the ultimate and just pitch it up. Hey, what's going on boys and possibly girls, who knows? It's your boy Jelly and today we're coming with some good vibes. You can see the Among Us stream on the side, but forget that. I'm gonna hop right into FL real quick. So today I'm showing you how to do some Paso Flaco, little Tekka type B, and we're just gonna go. I already have an entire melody done. I'm gonna show you guys what my thought process was and how I did the drum. So right off the bat, I use Purity a lot for this one. I'm using the Marcado fifth out of the strings, and I'll let you guys hear the first thing I clicked in. So that's pretty fire. So that was the bass five that I had. Then I went and I added um, orchestral harp uh, from Purity. And let's hear what that sounds like. I'm on the wrong one, hold on. So I added a little extra something on the second uh, four bars, like this little thing right here, and then a little, those notes right there, and I felt like it just gave it a nice little vibe and switched it up. So I also added this purity that you can barely hear just in the background. You want it to be simple yet catchy so it's easy to rap over, but gets the melody gets stuck in your head. So then I added, let's see, some Omnisphere, Keyscape, Rhodes, Chords in the background. And I just followed the same uh, notes as these and added a chord above. Um, this preset was weird, so I didn't do like more. It sounded fine with just this. So then I knew I needed some chords to back it up to make it sound more full. So I took these notes, they were the middle notes and I just shifted it, it would have sounded like this. And that sounds fire, but as you can see from the ghost notes, everything's kind of in the same spot. So I just went and moved it up and just shifted them up an octave by doing control up. And it sounds like this. Fire. But yeah, after I added the Omnisphere, I thought it was pretty fire. So. The last thing I did was I opened up GMS. I learned today that this is just a fire stock plugin. It's super dope for bass presets. So then I just added a little bass line following the root notes, you know, and then I just shifted them up and it sounds like this. And yeah guys, so I think this melody is super fire and fits uh, a little Tekka Paso Flocker vibe. So first things first, we need to get a bump in with a hi-hat. I think this one will do me justice. And I'm gonna head over to my tie hat midi kit. Try. That's fire. Now I need a clap, boozy clap, just because. Hard. So the trick with these type of beats is super simple drums. Like you don't need to go too hard. And I'm gonna go with this Zay type Shark 808. And we're gonna follow the root notes. So if you don't know how to put your 808s in kids, here you go. So you copy the root notes, right? From your melody. And then you go to your drums. Open up the 808 and just paste that easy as that. Put it up an octave, you know. Maybe two. But let me toss a soft clipper on here real quick for your ears, guys. And yes, as you can see, I deleted the f out of that free limiter. Um, soft clipper, boom. Ah. Are we gonna pace that over? All right, we got the energy flowing. I'm gonna go and get a snare real quick. Yep. And I'm 
gonna go and get a kick and copy over my 808 pattern to my kick pattern. And I'm telling you guys, my alt K just doesn't work. So you're just gonna have to bear with me right here. Hard. And sometimes what I like to do with my kicks is just shift them up one semitone. So it's on C sharp, you know? And I'm also gonna reverse the polarity. Instead of side chaining and doing all that extra stuff, you can just reverse the polarity. And I'm sorry guys if this is distracting the background. So I'm gonna, boom, turn that joint off. But yeah, you can reverse the polarity and it's like side chaining. I'm gonna change the preset to the Uzi kick because we have the Uzi clap, because why not? Sometimes you guys, you just gotta take the kick and just boom. This is a pretty busy pattern. So I kinda wanna switch it up and have the kick hitting in some places where the 808 isn't and the 808 hitting in the place, some places where the kick isn't, so. All right guys, so this is the kick pattern that I ended up going with. So I also want to add another little snare that hits on the clap. So for the first part of the beat, it'll be no kick and only the clap. And then the kick will come in with the second snare and it'll just be a bunch of energy. So I'm going to go and get my little clap midi. I don't think this beat needs much else. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to add some vocal chops to the melody just for fun. Um, so let's do it. I'm going to open up voice memos. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, we got this voice memo in here now. Here, I just lined it up. Oh, oh, oh. So I'm gonna, it sounds super dumb right now. So let me just EQ that, add an auto tune. Seems like it's an F sharp. So let's just go ahead and do F sharp and see what sounds good. Is that sounding better already? We're gonna add some reverb. And now we're gonna do the ultimate and just pitch it up. Hey. Oh. I'm at a filter. I'm gonna use this filter to just make it super ambient. All I put on it was an EQ, auto-tune, reverb, and a filter. And I'm gonna EQ that like that. And this is what we got. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and arrange this beat now real quick. I'm gonna open up wider, just to make this a little bit more wide. I'm gonna reverse the crash. Hey, I'm gonna take out the kick and the second snare at first. The kick's gonna come in and the second snare. Also take out the bass. Everything's gonna fade out and it's just gonna be this in the vocal. And I'm gonna add some reverb to it, towel reverb. All 
All right, guys, so the beat is pretty much arranged. Uh, it's been your boy, Jelly. Uh, this has been a little Tekka Paso Flaco type beat. Um, I'm gonna play the beat all the way through in a second. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, just follow me on Instagram at Jelly Melodies, Twitter at Jelly Melodies also with two Y's. I'm gonna have a lot of videos coming at you guys. I've got a kit in the works. I have a one shot kit coming out, a drum kit and a MIDI kit. So those are all being worked on. I'm just trying to make them really perfect. Cause you know, cause I hate buying people's drum kits and then it's like all unusable sounds and there's not even that many. So I'm trying to make them really worth it make you guys happy so yeah it's been your boy jelly i'm gonna let this beat play peace